So for today, we're covering 1725 by Histoire de Parfums, and here are 8 things that you need to know before purchasing that full bottle. So first thing you should know, 1725 is the year of birth of Giovanni Giacomo Casanova who was a famous 18th century figure. He was also the inspiration behind this perfume. So now you know. Next thing that you need to know, what does this one smell like? At the opening, there's a lot of citrus, this bergamot, this orange, and there's also this powdery, soft lavender. Now going into the base, the citruses fade while we are met with this spicy kind of sweet licorice along with that lavender powder. At the base, we are left with the vanilla, we are left with hints of that lavender powder, and licorice. Now for the uniqueness factor, a lot of people say that this is a cheap alternative for Invasion Barbar by Parfums and DCI, which I'd like to disagree because this one will remind you of Lolita Olympica's Eau Masculine because of its uh, sweet licorice, it's powdery lavender notes and there's a vanilla at the base. There are not a lot of scents that smells like this in the market today, so it still gets good points for the uniqueness factor. Now for the price, 460 mLs of this. In eBay, I'm seeing them around $100, $120 plus. For the 120 mLs, we're having them at around $200 or sub $200. Here are the prices that I have seen and their prices from their website. Regarding the price to value ratio, we'll get into that later. Now for versatility. Weather conditions, I've tried this in hot, I've tried this in the cold, it performs just the same. So don't fear about the vanilla and the licorice to be super sweet when you wear it in the warmer temperatures because the powderiness of the lavender would tame that sweetness. So there you go. Now, for occasions to wear this, for the wardrobe, I think this could run from casual, very casual, business casual, smart casual, even the high-end black tie events, award ceremonies, and such. So in terms of versatility, this one gets a huge thumbs up. Now for the longevity, hot or cold weather, this always gives me solid six hours. So there's that for longevity. Now, siage and projection. I have a problem about its siage and projection. Why? Because always, and I mean always, on the third hour mark, this just, it just dies. For some unknown reason. After the three hour mark, I need to press my nose against my skin in order for me to take whiffs or wick whiffs of its base notes. I have a bit of a problem with that because I see it just as a perfume that functions for the first three hours and then it's just totally dead. It is such a shame because after the third hour mark, I just cannot smell anything. Almost. It has this fantastic opening, really one of the best openings that I've experienced, but well, can't smell the bass notes and I want my barbershop scents to project and to perform. So the score is not looking good in terms of projection and siage. Now for the recommendation, should I recommend this to you or not? Firstly, I want to thank Sir Nico for providing this sample from our group Frag Revolution TH for making this review possible. So thank you, as well as the new subscribers and the new viewers of this channel. Thank you. This has been your host Alex and as always, you do you. Oh, for the recommendation, I love my barbershop scents and I want them to perform. So should I recommend this to you or not? No, I'm not recommending this to you. By the way, stay tuned until the end of this video to see the next perfume that we're gonna be covering. Until then.